Welcome to the fourth video in our tutorial series on building a MySQLi user registration system brought to you by simpletut.com and today we're going to be looking at hashing your passwords using the password hash function which is part of the password hashing API in PHP. Now there's a lot of benefits to using this function for example it automatically generates and salts your passwords for you but what we will be looking at in this tutorial is the algorithm cost of generating the hash but what I'll mainly be doing is showing you how to incorporate these security features and functions into your MySQLi user registration system that we have been building in this tutorial series. Now just as a reminder to go over what we did in previous parts of this tutorial series um, the first part of this series we looked at the introduction we looked at uh, creating the registration page and the general layout um, in the second video we looked at um, creating the user login functionality restricting page access and the uh, and logging users out securely uh, in, a, in the third video of the series we looked at creating the um, update account functionality the update account functionality so that users can actually log in and update their personal information that you have stored in your database um, as they need to do so. Now just to give you a brief idea of what we'll be doing in this tutorial um, this is a uh, test account that we created during the previous tutorials. Now just to explain when we created the registration system during the previous tutorials we basically developed the core functionality of the system what we now need to do is go back over it and increase the security so let's just give you an example here this is the password column in our database and this is the test account that we created now the password that we entered for this account was just one two three it was a test account but this password is stored um, in its entirety it's it's not encrypted it's not changed or it, nothing it, it's just basically stored in the database so one two three that's our password now that is not secure at all um, and it's very easy to hack so what we need to do is increase the security by hashing our password and that is what we're going to be looking at in this tutorial today now of course this is a tutorial series so we're going to be continuing on and um, basically uh, editing the pages we've already created and modifying the code we've already written and developed. Now the two pages that this is going to actually affect include the registration page and the login page. So we're going to start from the beginning and we're going to start with the registration page. Now if I come into code view I'm just going to briefly uh, go over what we've already done. So basically we've obviously created our registration form which is simple enough but then to actually handle that we've written PHP. Now what we've done here is we've basically called our connections file which is where we use MySQLi to connect to our database. Um, then here we've basically set the condition that this code should only of course run if the form is actually submitted. We've then grabbed hold of the post information, turned them into variables which we've then handled and stored them into the database via this query and then upon that being successful we're redirecting them to log in. Now what we want to do is we want to hash our password for obvious security reasons. Now if you notice here in this final variable that we create stores the password that the user has entered entered sorry when they when they when they sign up. So what we want to do is run this variable through our hashing fun through we want to hash this password. So what we're going to do is create an additional variable. We're going to call this store password because this is the variable we're going to store in our database that contains our hashed password. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say password hash and then here basically we're going to call this variable here which contains the password obtained from the post. We're going to use the password uh, bcrypt uh, algorithm um, and then what we're going to do is specify the cost um, 
the algorithm cost for generating the uh, hash. So I'm just going to write this out and then I'll actually uh, I'll go ahead and explain this for you. Now what I've done here is I've actually specified, if I just add my semicolon, um, I specified the cost as 10. Now you can set this to anything you want. Now the cost is basically the strength of um, of your hash, hashed password. Now if you want a stronger, uh, more security, and this basically you want the password to be even harder to crack, then basically you could increase this to something like 14 or more. Um, but the problem is that the higher this number is, the more resources and time it's going to take um, to actually uh, basically hash your password. So for example, if this was something ridiculous like 20, the user would not only um, cause issues on your, on your server, but you, users registering would actually have to wait a hell of a long time before they actually successfully register. Because what this really depends on is um, how good your hardware is. Um, but uh, basically, uh, 10 is more than enough, um, and that is what I'm going to recommend. So what we want to do now is what we've done here is we basically, uh, the user has posted the information, they've entered their password here, we've grabbed hold of that, um, and basically we've stored that in a temporary variable. We've then created this new variable, which is where we're storing the password we're actually going to ultimately uh, save in our database, and we've hashed it. Um, so basically what I'm going to do here is instead of storing the password variable here, we're going to insert the new password variable we've just created in our database. So just before we actually continue here, I'm just going to preview what we've done so far. So let's open up this in Explorer. And I'm just going to create a new account. So I'm going to enter Layla Brown. Uh, let's just say uh, Layla at ntlworld.com. And the password can be something simple like ABC. And let's click on register. And it's obviously worked because we've been taken to the login page as we should be. And just to show you that it has worked, I've come back to my database. So I'm just going to refresh this. And as you can see, it's created the new user in our database. And as you can see, this is the uh, password. If I just extend this here, you can see this is the hashed password, which is actually a total length of um, 60 characters. So this is our hashed pa password here. Now, if I go to edit, I can grab hold of this entire thing. Um, as you can see, this is our hashed password. Now, the only problem that this creates, um, well, it's not really a problem, it's actually very secure, but it makes it a little bit difficult for us to actually log the user in because we need to check and verify their email and password. So let's return to Dreamweaver and I'll explain this a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going back to my login page. Now, if I just go into code view and explain this here, what we're doing uh, similarly to the registration page, we're grabbing hold of the information entered by the user into these two fields here, which is the login, login form, um, and we're turning them into these variables. Now, prior to us hashing our password, all we had to do was run a simple query that checked the email and password uh, was uh, basically matched in the database. The problem now is that the user is only going to know the unhashed password. So if they enter ABC, they know their password is ABC. So we can't do this because now even if they enter ABC, which is their correct password, we can't just check this in the database because it will come back as incorrect because Again, if we return to our database, although this is the hashed password here for ABC, this is not ABC. We've not stored that in the database for obvious security reasons. Now, normally what you would do if you encrypted a password is you'd simply um, grab hold of this, 
you'd run it through the same encryption and then you check that encrypted password with the encrypted password stored in the database. However, this is even more secure because every single time that this runs, it will generate a different string. It will, it will always be different. So that means we can't do that. However, this, uh, uh, as just as we had the hash function, password hash function in PHP, we also have the password verify function uh, within the hash, hash password API in PHP. So what we want to do here is a little bit more complex than this. The first thing we want to do is, of course, we want to grab hold and create these variables of the information the user inserts. And then we want to find the account uh, via this query in the database. However, we cannot check the password at this stage. So I'm going to remove that part of the query. So what we want to do is we want to fetch that information once we have found the appropriate account via that email. We want to fetch that information. And then here we want to enter a new um, if statement here. So what we want to do is we want to say if and then we want to say password verify and basically here if I just create the initial if statement here yes uh, basically here what we want to do is we want to check the uh, password variable here which is what the user just entered with the variable from the database which we can uh, basically obtain very easily we're just going to say uh, dollar sign row and the password column in the database is password so if we save that um, basically now if the password is correct we're going to do this if not we're going to say else again we want to say we want to start sessions on the page and we want to create a new session um, and we're going to call this session login fail. And this is going to just equal uh, something like yes. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the page. Uh, and as we did previously, we're going to create a new uh, form element. And within the form element, we're just going to give a failure message. So let's say something like login failed. Please try again. Okay, but what we want to do is basically, again, we need some PHP. And we're going to say if is set and basically we're going to check if the session uh, exists for login fail um, and here then we just need to close that statement okay Okay, so that looks good to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it. So if I come back to, um, if I launch this in Explorer, now, now you remember we just created this account. The email was Layla at NTL World, and we obviously hashed the password. The password was ABC. So if I come back to the login page, I'm going to enter the same information. So Layla, NTL World, password was ABC, and click on login. We're redirected to the uh, our account page. It successfully worked, and of course, that's worked with the hashed password in our database. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and thank you very much for watching. I'd just like to encourage you to visit our official community website, simpletat.com. This is where we post all of our tutorials, including that on web development, computing, and even photography, but much more. Uh, some of our most popular tutorials include building a MySQL user registration system, but we also have PHP classes I've shown you in videos how to uh, develop your own responsive website layouts, content management systems, there's tutorials on social networking, e-commerce, and much more. 
But this is a fantastic learning resource and it does not stop there. We also have a ask a question area on our website where you can post a question about this or any other tutorial or perhaps even a project of your own. We also have a blog and a freebies section which you can use to access even more content. Now before you go, I'd just like to encourage you to actually um, like our Facebook page because this is a fantastic way for you to stay in, in contact with us. As we release new freebies, new tutorials, we will post them on our Facebook page and you can even make uh, suggestions for future tutorials all on our Facebook page. But before you go, I would just like to encourage you to check out one of our latest projects, cssmenucreator.com. Now this is a fantastic resource for you. It cuts your development time and makes building websites even easier um, because what it does is it writes the code for you when it comes to CSS menus. You can select from our growing range of uh, pre-built CSS menus, use the built-in uh, application to actually uh, build your menu and create your different options for your menu, and then you can actually uh, install that menu on your own website within Dreamweaver or whatever web application you're using to build your website. You just simply copy and paste the code into the website and we have video tutorials show you how to do it on a step-by-step -step basis. I would just like to say that uh, if you would like to make a contribution to our project, then we really would appreciate it. There is a donation button on simpletut.com uh, which you can use to make a contribution to a project. This is also a great opportunity for me to tell you about um, our official website siteeasy.com and there'll be a link in the description of this video. This is where we sell a huge range of pre-built websites and scripts and offer custom web design services. Some of our pre-built websites include a pre-built social networking website, um, e-commerce, content management. Um, these all include um, free installations and we offer much more such as property listings or file upload. Um, so it's a great uh, resource for anyone looking for a one-stop solution um, for your, uh, your project. We also offer a number of pre-built PHP scripts which is growing all the time. Um, and these are applications which you can incorporate into your website, such as the pre-built user registration system, digital goods for PayPal, billing systems, comment systems, contact forms, and much more. And all of these scripts can be incorporated into your existing website. They're completely pre-built and you can simply copy and paste them and upload them to your server immediately uh, once you've downloaded them. If you do have any questions, would like to get in touch, perhaps have a custom uh, job, uh, web, de web development project uh, you'd like us to help you with, then please get in touch using any of our websites. We all have, uh, we have contact forms on all of our websites. You can contact us via Facebook. Uh, again, I'd also like to recommend that you like, uh, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.